Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to do a Primavera P6 uh, professional client install in a standalone environment. This will mean that uh, we'll uh, install an Oracle XE uh, database manually. Afterwards, I'll install uh, the P6 client and uh, I'll load uh, the scripts for the database from uh, the DB setup. Uh, okay, let's go at it. First, I'm going to install the Oracle XE. database this is included in the client and it's a, a small uh, standalone version of the database Okay, we'll uh, go with the standard options. Uh, this is uh, requesting for the system and the uh, system passwords. And we're going to go install. So this will install on, uh, it will listen on port 1521. Uh, and it will have uh, Enterprise Manager on the 8080. Okay, let's go install. This will take a few minutes. Okay, the database is installed. Let's uh, now install uh, the P6 Professional Client. I'm going to launch uh, the installer through Setup XN. This will check if uh, the environment has the prerequisites installed. These are DHTML, uh, .NET Framework, and Java, and uh, Windows installer. On my system, they're already installed, but if they weren't, uh, this the installer would uh, install them automatically and then launch the P6 uh, Pro MSI. I'm going to go with an advanced install because I'm using a 64-bit uh, version of Windows and I want to install it in a location without the x86 brackets. This uh, path is known to cause certain issues when connecting to the database if uh, the brackets are included. So let's change this to C. Oracle Primavera V6 Professional. Okay. And 
next and install. That should take about a minute and after it's finished we should have uh, the install ready. In the meantime I'm going to check if uh, the port is active for the Oracle XC database. If uh, in that stat is not shown, we could uh, check with resource monitor and go on network and let's see if we have anything listening. Yes, we have TNS listener. That's perfect. Let's see if uh, the path variable includes uh, the path to the XC database. And yes, it does. So we have all the commands for Oracle XC. I'm going to do uh, try to log in in uh, SQL Plus. So I'm going to SQL Plus this at XC as this DBA. Okay, so we're in. This is created as expected. After the P6 client is installed, we are going to install the database for the standalone version of P6. We're for this, we're going to use the DB setup uh, batch file. But before we run it, we need to run one more script beforehand. These are this is the manual script before install SQL. We can uh, check it beforehand. It uh, basically grants an execute uh, to the system user and uh, a select. Okay. Uh, install. Just going to execute that script. We'll configure the connection to the database. So, and the uh, installer for P6 is almost ready. We'll configure the connection for the database in just a second. I'm going to go cancel for the moment. And we'll configure it at the end. Okay, so the P6 professional has finished. That's perfect. And in the meantime, I'm just going to do in a new notepad to run any script in uh, SQL Plus. You just need to do an add path to the script and uh, the name of the script. Okay, wonderful. So now we can install the actual uh, uh, database for P6. For this, we'll go into the database folder and we're gonna run the DB setup batch file. This will uh, launch a Java application that can install the uh, Primavera P6 database. So we have the option to choose between Oracle and SQL. We're going to go with Oracle. The, now we need to insert the credentials for the database. 
the host name as Primavera, the database host port is 1521, and uh, uh, SID for the database is XE. Okay. You could also check if the database is active by doing the DNS ping XC beforehand. Okay. Everything is okay here. Okay, so now we're going to create the table space. This will take about a minute. Okay, wonderful. And now we need to create the schema owners for the application. The ADM user is uh, the administrator and uh, the schema that holds all the tables and the views for uh, P6. The pub u the priv user is a privileged user who actually has access to the, uh, certain views on uh, the ADM user's uh, schema. So uh, users will uh, mainly connect with uh, these users and uh, get data in the client. The pub user is a security measure used uh, by Primavera. Actually, a P6 professional will connect to the pub user. With the pub user, it will uh, check or uh, get uh, the credentials for, for the privileged user from a table that it has access to view. And uh, afterwards, it will connect with the priv user. And the background job user runs certain uh, background jobs. Okay, I'm going to set the admin password and leave the currency as US dollar. And let's go install. It will take about a minute uh, to install everything. Okay, the install has finished, and if we go next and now finish, we have an active uh, database. We can uh, now connect to the P6 Professional client by going to Oracle Primavera P6 and P6 Professional. At this point, we need to configure a connection to the PMDB database. So this is a standard um, a database connection added by the installer. Let's go configure and select the driver type, which is Oracle in this case. 
the connection string can be done as an easy connection string but I'm just going to use the SID the username uh, needs to be pub user with the password set when installing the database uh, schemas and now we should be able to connect wonderful and after inserting the credentials we have connected to the Oracle database we'll uh, receive a standard message that the uh, industry was not selected this can be configured afterwards by going to admin and uh, admin preferences and under the industry tab select uh, the appropriate industry to make that uh, message uh, disappear okay and this is all that uh, there needs to be done to install p6 standalone um, in uh, a windows 64 environment thank you